Hey YouTube, do you know what I found in the mail? <laughs> What's going on everybody? So today I got something in the mail that I just had to show you. It is that good. I don't normally get that excited about a piece of gear, but this one is amazing. So this is what it came in. So let me tell you, when I first opened this, I was like, you know, I, I like Manfrotto. I like a lot of other companies that make equipment like this. But this, by far, was the best well-made, well-thought-out, well-designed monopod I have ever seen. So this is the iFootage Cobra 2 C120. This is a carbon fiber monopod and it is built like a tank from the bag okay so we start out with just the bag it's ultra padded it's got little pockets that you can use inside of here it's got straps to hold everything down i mean they really thought this thing out well it's got a shoulder strap it's got a hand carry handle it's got nice embroidered logos on it i mean i'm not paid by this company to say this i am just honestly telling you how awesome this thing is so first off, let's look at the actual monopod. So this thing is made out of really smooth carbon fiber. It feels smoother than any piece of carbon fiber equipment that I've ever owned. Um, my Manfrotto tripod, actually, I hate to say it, but it feels like a toy compared to the build quality of this iFootage. Uh, everything on this thing was well thought out from the big oversized uh, knobs you know to open everything to the feet it's got a rubber stopper down at the bottom the head that you can attach a gimbal or your camera to it is made so that you can release it quickly just like that and so not only is that awesome you can also detach the bottom and attach your camera or gimbal to that and use it as a tabletop tripod or set it on the ground uh, one of the other cool things that I didn't know about before I purchased this was it has a 3 8 inch thread at the top. And I was like, oh, well, that's not good because I've got a quarter 20 thread on my gimbal and my camera. So what am I going to do? Well, they actually built this with a 3 8 inch that's spring loaded that pops down to a quarter 20 underneath it. I've never seen engineering like this on a monopod for the price that this thing goes for. I think it was about $174, $179. I'm going to post links to everything that I'm using in this video down at the bottom. And then at the end, I'm also going to give you a little uh, tour of how I set this video tutorial up. So let me go ahead and show you the strength of, of this. Like all the materials that they use is just... It's overkill, honestly. But if you want your equipment to last like I do, and you're out in the field as a professional and you're beating your equipment up, this thing, I can just tell by the feel, the hardware that they use, the actual screws, everything was built like a tank. This aluminum push buttons, they feel like aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, it's all heavy, heavy duty rubberized feet everywhere. Uh, if you actually look at the back side of these so when you close this down so you push this button and you close it they actually thought about putting rubber in between where this touches the metal aluminum parts I mean I've just never seen this quality of craftsmanship in something that is really ultimately pretty inexpensive okay so you have this uh, it's fully adjustable you can go all the way down this way don't know really why you would want to ever do that and then they lock so if you wanted to have it in this configuration sitting on something, you could do that. They quickly release and there's multiple adjustment heights that you can use. So I would probably use it like this configuration right here most of the time. And of course, I don't have the ball head tightened up really tight right now. And this is to allow me to, when I step on this with my foot and lean forward with the monopod, I can get these really nice smooth video shots as they go forward so let me take this bottom part off and then 
I'm gonna explain one little thing that I did notice. So I just got the Ziyun crane, Ziyun crane, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and when I tried to screw this in, even though it has this little recessed 3 8 inch thread, the part on the bottom of the gimbal is also recessed before it touches the quarter 20. And this caused a little minor problem. It's not that big of a deal. But I could screw it in about one full turn, which is only about one full thread, which I didn't feel very safe uh, using the gimbal this way. And there's about a millimeter or two in between the gimbal and the head. So it wobbles, you can hear that. It doesn't sound very sturdy. So I was like, okay, how could I fix this? So what I did was I got one of these little washers it's just a silicone washer and I stick it on the bottom like this on the gimbal and then just thread it through and it's the, the washer is not as wide as a 3 8 inch but it, the hole is big enough for a quarter 20 so now it is tight the rubber on the bottom of the mounting plate is snug this thing is not going anywhere and now I can go ahead and attach this to the top and I've got a freestanding monopod. But if I don't want to use this with the legs attached down here, I could take these legs off and go ahead and use this as a tabletop setup. So if you're a vlogger, you like to make videos or anything, taking pictures even, you could set this up on the ground with your camera on it in this configuration. It's very compact. Uh, and like I said, this thing is just made like the finest manufacturing I've seen on a monopod or a gimbal um, holder whatever you want to use it for anywhere around I've never seen one built this way and I'm not paid for by the company to say any of this I purchased this with my own money and I just felt so impressed by how awesome it is that I had to share it with you guys so one of the cool things besides that is you can go ahead and let me reattach the feet. All right. Reattach the gimbal. Now, what you could do is you could run around during, uh, you could extend these out. Boom, boom. And now you can get nice crane and jib shots with your gimbal. So you can go up over a crowd, you can get these swinging movements whatever you want to do to get up higher in the air. Uh, another cool thing you could use this for is to just simply balance your gimbal. So when you get a, a gimbal and you haven't set it up for the first time, you're going to go ahead and attach your camera to the bottom. This little screw will go into the bottom here. Attach the bottom of your camera and then you want to adjust this piece, you want to adjust this piece and the height on this. And everything should basically be super stabilized already and there's already a ton of videos on how to stabilize it I'm just kind of letting you know this gives you a good platform to stabilize your gimbal before you actually go out and start shooting so that's pretty awesome all right so let me kind of talk about the little setup I did with the Ziyun crane while I'm at it and then I'll give you a tour behind the scenes of how I set up this video so uh, first off I've got the it's a Joby uh, cold shoe attached to this bar mount uh, strap which I will put links to everything that I'm using down below in the description and this has kind of like a zip tie feel to it with two quick releases on it so it, it's got hard uh, actually it's more like soft rubberized material that keeps it from slipping and this thing allows me to attach a microphone so I can go ahead and set this up like that and then run this to an external cable which is a female audio cable stereo and I can go ahead and run my audio that way if I want to use the microphone a little bit higher and have it more compact for handheld use then what I did was I attached uh, a cold shoe to the side with two small thin zip ties I saw this from another tutorial I, I apologize I can't remember who made it so I didn't come up with this idea but there was a uh, a guy who showed just drilling two small holes, running the zip ties through it, and putting a piece of rubber on the back side so it doesn't slide around. And that allows you to attach a microphone directly to the side of your camera so it's always next to where your video source is coming from. 
so that's pretty cool uh, but anyway guys this iFootage monopod is just amazing I can't recommend it enough I'm not getting paid by them to say this by any means so let me give you a little tour now behind the scenes of how I set this video up to kind of give you some ideas of you know you want to make cool looking videos uh, maybe you want the sound to sound good so just a little behind the scenes talking first I got the Asden uh, dual microphone uh, on top of my Fujifilm X-T2 which is what's filming this right now and the cool thing about the Asden is it's very similar to the Rode uh, VideoMic Pro and I love Rode products I'm actually using a Rode right up here this is the NTG4 Plus I'll show you that behind the scenes but on the camera there's an Asden which has a built-in shotgun microphone which it's recording with now and then there's also a separate switch to change it to a stereo microphone so if you're out in the field and you want to get the sound of nature it's got a very widespread, nice, but still naturally sounding spread uh, to the audio if you want to shoot in stereo. Then I'm using some uh, diffusion fabric. I just doubled this up and it's attached to the ceiling with those really super strong magnets. And I used some uh, arcade coins that were magnetic. I just tested it first and then attached that with uh, some sticky, uh, removable sticky stuff to the wall so I can easily just snap them up in place. So let me show you behind the scenes and thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more uh, tutorials or product reviews. Definitely let me know and I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. Alright, so here's the setup. I've got a foam core board on the right hand side bouncing some fill back. As you can see there's the diffusion material with two 60 watt Godox SL60s uh, lighting the diffusion material on the back side. And then if we come over here, you can see the Rode blimp attachment with the NTG4 Plus. And I will switch out the audio to give you a demonstration of how each different microphone sounds compared to each other. The on-camera mic as well as the Rode which is boomed up right overhead. Got the fill card. Everything's being recorded in the Tascam DR60D Mark II. And that's it. And this is just in my studio living room. So I hope you guys liked the video again. I appreciate you watching. Take care.